Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So we have seen how we could do different types of attacks through trojans and backdoors, how we could create different viruses through our payloads through Kali Linux and attack the target system. But just sometimes social engineering fails. Not most of the time, most of the time, 70% of the time the social engineering will work but it will sometimes there are chances that it may not work and let's say for example if the person is smart enough and you send him some kind of let's say for example a PDF file with a Trojan in that so he will uh, he may there are chances that he may or he may not he may not run that because let's say for example he may doubt that this is something or if he, he has a good kind of antivirus then the program may not even allow it to run so there are chances where uh, Trojans may not work if they're not encrypted properly so at that point of time this kind of attack comes in which I will be teaching you today and this is called as Java applet attack method so what this does exactly is that whenever you go ahead and open your Chrome, if you go ahead and let's say for example you try to run different kind of websites, it will ask you to go ahead and install Java uh, sometime. Uh, so let's say for example, I don't know whether in my system it's installed or not. Let me go ahead and check the keypad website and okay so if I want to download something over here as you can see Java applet renewed it's giving me this uh, specific thing over that means Java is installed so I'll just go ahead and in on this Java and I'll just go ahead and refresh it. Let's see if it asks me the to install the plugin or something. If I have not installed Java then it, uh, this uh, yeah first thing is that if uh, your target has not installed Java this will not work or it will ask it to go ahead and install Java and then come back later on this website. But if he has Java already then it's not a concern. Most of the people already have this Java installed because it's needed for most of uh, the application right like playing uh, flash videos or playing videos on YouTube or downloading one or the other thing so Java is a very common software that most people have and uh, if uh, they don't have Java then they will probably get uh, install uh, Java error I'll just go ahead and show you how this that looks like exactly this will be the error that they would be getting that the uh, Java was not installed or something and they will ask you to go to install Java so what I would be doing is that I would be going ahead and injecting my payload inside this java error so whenever the person uh, gets this error he will go ahead and click uh, continue let me show you install java run so i would be getting uh, yeah perfect i'll just go ahead and open this so i'll be getting uh, an image some, uh, like this uh, in my uh, computer stating that the person is asking for you to go ahead and run this application and uh, as soon as the person clicks run most probably they will because they will not go uh, normal people don't go ahead and think up to that capacity that people will inject virus inside the Java or even uh, you may not be knowing till now that people normally go ahead and install uh, viruses or trojans inside Java so that's what we will be doing today so that the person will not be able to know he will as soon as he runs this uh, we will be injecting our payload inside his browser and until unless his browser is closed the, the Java will keep on continuing uh, to run and as well as our payload so but there is still a problem that as soon as the person closes his browser the Java as well as our payload will stop so today I would be showing you as to how we can actually go ahead and uh, run the Java uh, at one point of time and, uh, and I will be continuing that and I will showing you that how we could actually go ahead and prevent from our program to end even uh, if the browser window closes so let's go ahead and start our Kali Linux to start with and I'll open my target machine as well as the Kali Linux as well and just hit enter and over here perfect last time I did EOST this machine that's why it was showing that error so just ignore that Okay, did start. Looks like my Windows is already started. I'll just go ahead and enter the password one two three and over here I'll just go ahead and run this. perfect I already have this payload over here which I would probably not need 
Or let me check if our listener is still active. Okay, never mind. So let's see if we have Chrome installed. Okay, we have Chrome installed and perfectly running. I'll just start the Chrome browser and now I'll just just go to the terminal and type se toolkit that is social engineering toolkit and hit enter select one because it is uh, it comes under social engineering attacks because we are actually fooling the person do something that we want that's why and after that I would be going ahead and let's check what else we have so I would normally go ahead and select two that's website attack vendors and after in the ve inside the vector we have our java applet attack method so I'll select one and I'll hit enter and this is the thing okay this is what my looks like so I'll just go back to my Cal Linux so I have three options over here one is the web template another one is the site cloner and the third one is the custom import so I'll go ahead and select the site cloner I'll press 2 and I'll hit enter so are you using NAT or port forwarding since I'm inside Kali Linux I'll have to select yes if you are directly on your machine then you can straight away go ahead and select no and IP address to set web server so 